Yeah, just again today, uh, very appreciative of the crowd. Um, again, students aren't back yet, but had a lot of Ole Miss students support the team noon game. So we're very appreciative of the attendance and um, just can't thank them enough. You know, guys are talking about it before the game and after the game. So there's uh, definitely some positive momentum in our program right now. And it's, it's not just all based on the scoreboard. It's um, a lot of things going on in the program. So as we continue to build this thing, uh, we're just super appreciative of the fans. We look back. We look forward to our next home game here um, in a couple weeks with the students back in full force. But I thought it was another great crowd. Um, you know, Matt's not into all the personal stuff, but another milestone today, uh, career threes, top of the list here at Ole Miss. So as the season goes on, Matt's going to break a lot of milestones. But I um, was really impressed with his leadership this week in practice and uh, defensively today. I thought it was one of our best efforts. Uh, Vanderbilt's very difficult to guard. Um, got a really good coach. and. He puts his players in positions. It runs a lot of things uh, that you don't see on a normal basis. So in a short prep time, uh, I thought our guys were dialed into the game plan. Coaching staff did a good job with this scouting report. And um, I give the players the credit. It's one of our best defensive efforts today. Um, we had five guys playing team defense for a lot of the game, five guys in a stance. And that was certainly our game plan. Any questions for Matthew? Matt, where have you seen your, your offensive game? maybe start to improve or trend upward in the last few weeks? Uh, you know, as a team, we just – team finding ways to get me to my spots, and I'm just executing, you know. Coach knows I come in every day, shoot the game, shoot all my game-like shots, day in and day out, so it's just reps, and then those reps can go on to the game. How does it feel to come in here and hear Coach say the positive words about you, how you're playing, but also your leadership in the team? Um, it's a it's a great feeling, you know. Coach, me and coach have conversations all the time. That's that's a big thing that he challenged me to do is lead, you know, take over the team. He says teams can't be successful, you know, unless it's player led, you know. So that's a big thing coming from him. And what's one of the things you've done to kind of take over in a leadership role with this team? Um, you know, first off, you know, just leading by examples first, and you know, correcting guys. Sometimes, you know, when you're in the midst of practice or the game, you can't see certain things that you can see from a different position. So, you know, when you point those things out, you know, it helps the player tweak whatever the defensive scheme is or offensive game plan. And, you know, it just it just trickles down the uh, lineup. Matt, I remember before the season you said one of your goals was to, to be more efficient. Certainly the, the numbers bear that out at this point. What's kind of enabled you to achieve that goal so far, do you think? Um, I say my teammates. <laughs> you know, they, they're great players. You know, they drive great for me. Give me a lot of open catch and shoot shots. You know, like I said earlier, you know, those are shots that I practice every day in practice. You know, coaches, co coach call some plays to get me in certain positions, but, you know, he has the philosophy players make plays, you know, so I, my credit's to my teammates. Would you say you're taking better shots than, than you have in the past based on what your teammates have been able to do? Oh, yeah, I'm taking a lot more open shots. <laughs> Uh, Matt you talked about your role this week in practice. Just how has the, the team kind of responded after a week ago? With, obviously, what y'all done on the scoreboard, but just maybe with their practice as well, coming off that Tennessee game. You know, definitely, coach challenged us in practice. You know, not take plays off. So that's been that's been a big thing the past week. You know, always going hard. You know, if you get tired, call for a sub. But don't play don't play the game tired. Don't be selfish. Be unselfish. You know, play for one another. Don't play for yourself. So that's been a big thing this past week. Man, you had you had 18 in the first half, and from the very first possession, you hit that mid-range jumper. Just was there a point where you kind of felt like, okay, I'm feeling it today? And just for us who aren't elite basketball players, what's that feeling like when you're able to see it go through and just start feeling hot? You no, know, as a scorer, you love to see that first shot go through. You know, so seeing that, you know, coach drew up the play, I was managed to get a wide open shot. <laughs> so you know, that really put helped. And then you know, next shot falled, and then it just went from there. So, no, it was good to see shots fall, you know, but some days shot won't fall, so you have to find other ways to affect the game. You see Keith smile and Alan start shaking his head. <laughs> Matt, last year you guys were one of the worst three-point shooting teams in the country. This year you guys are one of the best. What all has gone into that turnaround? Uh, secrets in the dirt. <laughs> Is that something that everyday, everyday process? You know, guys, get, guys love being in the gym. Uh, you know, coach has 300 club, you know. He, uh, his, you have to be con considered a shooter. You have to get come in and make three hundred threes every day. That's at the minimum, though. You know, and then every guy has their own routines. You know, on top of that, so you know, just the, the work that you put in every day it shows.